guys, welcome to my tutorial. Today we're gonna learn how to do this awesome Super Saiyan or I guess power charge effect in After Effects. Let's get started. Hey guys, so we're back on the computer and I'm just gonna say straight out that this tutorial is gonna be super simple. I think we're going to be using like uh, three, I think three or four uh, plugins in After Effects. So first off, we're going to start out by creating a new black solid and make sure it's the same size as your comp and click OK. And then we're going to go to the effects and presets window and type in fractal noise. Now the fractal noise is going to be responsible of creating that aura look. So we're going to go to the fractal type and change that to dynamic. To make the aura pop out more against the black, we're going to increase the contrast and then decrease the brightness because I really want to get rid of the extra white noise inside the middle. I'm just going to mess with the settings a little bit. Okay, so now the next step is to change the blending mode to screen to just get rid of the black. Alright. Uh, sorry, the pen tool to mask out where we want the aura to be at. So I'm just going to roughly outline my body. You don't have to be super accurate since um, the aura isn't really like following your body. It's just surrounding it. So I'm just going to roughly do that. And then click M on your black layer to open up the mask path settings and add a keyframe. And then throughout the video, you're just going to have to animate that mask. So I'm just going to animate it so it can follow, roughly follow my body. This part, I'm just going to fast forward. Alright, so I just finished animating my mask, and the next step is to get rid of this rough edge. So we're going to go open up the mask feathering settings, which is the F key on your keyboard. And we're just going to increase that amount to just smooth it out. Alright, so now we're going to add more adjustments to our fractional noise. Because I really want that like large chunks of aura, but like in small amounts. So I'm going to lower down the brightness, just to get rid of the unnecessary white noise, and increase that contrast to make that white popped out. There you go. That looks pretty good so far. Alright, so we can create that illusion that the aura is coming from our feet to our head. So we can go to the transform settings and add a keyframe of the offset turbulence at the beginning of the footage and drag it all the way down or towards the bottom. So I'm just going to drag it downwards and then at the end of the footage I'm going to drag it all the way up. That way it looks like it's coming from the ground and up. See, like, like that. Okay, so now I'm just gonna change it, change the scale of it just to for a preference. Just gonna scale it up, and it looks a lot better. Except it looks kind of plain. So to add more of the like randomness to it, we're gonna increase. Uh, we're gonna change the evolution. Sorry, yeah, we're gonna change the evolution. So when we go to the beginning of the footage, add a keyframe. Then at the end of the footage, I'm just gonna make it around like six evolutions. So now it looks a lot more random, and I might increase the, yeah I might increase the brightness just to show a little bit more of the white and I think that looks pretty good so far okay so next we're gonna add like a bit of a motion blur to it so we're gonna add the vector blur plugin vector blur and drag it to our black solid and change the type to directional fading and I'm gonna increase the amount to around like 260 now this part it really depends on your video, but for mine I find that if I go around like two, at least two sixty, yeah, that, that looks pretty good. And to to change the color of the aura, um, I'll be using like a video copilot's color vibrance plugin, and looking for us is completely free, so I'll have to link down the description. I'm just gonna add that to it. So use color vibrance, and I'm gonna change it to a blue color. I mean, you can change it to whatever color you want. And I'm gonna make it like a light blue or something. There we go. That looks pretty awesome so far. Okay, so the next step or the last step is to create like a distortion effect around our body. So we're gonna duplicate the black solid and name it displace so that we won't get confused with the other layers. And we're gonna get rid of the color because we really don't need the color. And we're gonna pre comp this. So right click and pre comp and move all attributes which is the second option click OK and then turn off the visibility because we really don't need to see it and then we're going to add a new adjustment layer so layer new adjustment and we're going to type in displacement map 
Displacement map. And then we're going to change the source to our Displace comp. And we're going to change the settings to Luminescence. Luminescence. Stretch map to fit. And then I'm going to increase it to around 23 and 24, 25. And I'm going to change the settings just a little bit. So we're going to add like a variation to it. So go to your displays comp. So just double click on that. And I'm going to, I guess, lower down the scale just to add a variation effect to it. Not that much. And I'm going to increase the contrast so that the displacement map could read the this comp a lot better. So I'm going to increase the contrast. And let me see what would it look like right now. Okay, so the edges are a bit rough. So I'm going to add a Gaussian blur to it just to smooth out the edges. That's cool. And let's see what does that look like. Oh, I guess we're done with the tutorial. I mean, that's all we really need. And here's the final product. Thank you for watching my tutorial. If you have any more questions or any concerns, please comment down below or even message me. Um, please subscribe if you guys want to see more tutorials. And thank you so much. Have a great day, you guys.